Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of TypeScript, we will talk about constructor and shorthand initialization. And uh, I'm very sure if you have basic knowledge of uh, Java or uh, PHP or C++ or any other object-oriented programming, then uh, you may know about constructor. And if you don't know, then don't worry. We will learn it from scratch and I will clear your old doubt about constructor. After that, uh, we will learn what is a uh, shorthand initialization and how we can apply it what actually shorthand initialization do it will set some properties with the help of constructor and we don't need to define these properties and all right and after that uh, whenever we will set up some uh, properties with the help of shorthand initialization after that we will get these values so that we can check that everything is working fine or not and at the last we will discuss some important interview questions in some videos actually i forget to discuss interview question at the last really sorry for that but uh, i will keep in mind that uh, i must have to discuss some interview questions for every video all right so what is constructor if we are looking on its definition it simply means this is a function inside a class it will automatically call whenever your class object is created so okay but why we need it sometime whenever we are creating any object we have to load some values or some properties inside the class i will show you how so that time this is very helpful so let's see with the example so let's say we have a class with the name of uh, users and uh, it have a object let's say const u1 new user we can create a class object like this so let's say we want to load some values inside this class uh, at a creating object that time how we can do it so for that you can just call it like this so let's say i want to load three properties first one is name second one is uh, let's say age which is 25 and third one is let's say email address anil at the rate test.com right there is a error but we will just fix it soon so how we can just uh, handle them for that we can just create a constructor like this and we can get these values first one in name parameter second one is age parameter and last one in last one is in email so for that we have to define this is basically a constructor right and uh, let's see that is it working or not whenever we are uh, just creating an object uh, so it will some print something or not so just simply put here console.log name age and email and uh, now let's check out these values here here you can see that everything is working fine all right so let's say i want to just uh, use these three uh, things outside this constructor so what i can do here so i have to create properties so let's say our first property is name and it will be by default blank or you can put anything else after that uh, age is zero by default and email is also blank by default like this so that time what we can do here we can just simply remove it we don't need to remove it uh, just we can just uh, uh, write code in the new line just simply put here this dot name is name we can assign values like this after that we can just define age as well as email and now we want to get these uh, values outside this uh, constructor so let's create a one more function display well and uh, let's make this console here now and obviously we have to use here this so just simply put here this dot name this dot age and this dot email okay i have to just put here dot and now let me just create a let me just call this function 
you uh, one dot display well like this and you will find that everything is still working fine but here you can see that this is actually a long process first of all we have to define three properties then we have to assign these values so let's say we have uh, 10 or 20 properties then that time it will take lots of time so how we can resolve this issue so what you can do here just remove these properties we don't need them and just simply put here a uh, type of properties so let, let's say our properties are public type so just put here public and public like this and now you will still find everything is working fine keep in mind if you will not put here public or private you will try to just get like this it will give error it will not gonna run so you must have to provide here your access modifier it can be private it can be, be public or it can be protected and here you can see that this is the working fine so this is basically a shorthand initialization of properties an interview question they can directly ask what is constructor second thing they can ask what is shorthand initialization which is a very important uh, for interviews Bo both questions are really important and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video thank you so much